Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode of the mini series where I uh, celebrate one year of YouTube activity by presenting you my fountain pen collection. This episode is dedicated to a German manufacturer and its name is Geha. This is a manufacturer that was based in Hanover, Germany. And not many people know this, but the name Geha, it is um, a result of the first letters of the founders of the company. So the founders of the company are the Gebruder Hartmann. The Hartmann brothers. So we have Geha. This manufacturer concentrated its activity by uh, producing office products like carbon paper and uh, ribbons for the typewriters. But in the 1950s, they start producing fountain pens. And uh, in a short period of time, they uh, specialize in producing affordable school fountain pens or uh, low entry level fountain pens for students and uh, for a long period of time in the 1970s and in the 1980s they competed directly with pelican especially with the pelican affordable line the pelicano but the geha company was bought in the 1990s by pelican and uh, its um, production stopped. So this is a little bit uh, of information about the history of Geha. In my collection I have this elegant elegant Geha 708 from the 1960s. You can see this beautiful beautiful elegant uh, torpedo shape. It is uh, quite similar the clip with the pelican beak but you can see we have the logo of the geha and the shape reminds us of uh, uh, series 2 or series 3 from uh, from mont blanc from the 1950s the cap on screws so we have a classic classic design we have the piston filler right here and it is uh, quite functional <laughs> i'm sorry uh, sorry guys, so I'm trying now to operate the piston and No, oops So it has a piston an ink window, but uh, also it has um, the 1960s uh, let's say uh, design trend of this uh, semi hooded nib and uh, on the back we have this particular looking feed which we'll see that it is present on all the models here it is quite quite a functional fountain pen as you can see it can be easily uh, dissembled and cleaned and uh, it is quite quite a nice fountain pen I'm not so sure, but I believe on this model that the nib is a uh, gold. Uh, it, we have a gold, gold nib. The next model is a strange curiosity. I've uh, recently acquired it and I acquired it as it is. It came with this Geha cap. So the seller told me it is a Geha model. I'm not so sure and why guys because um, we have this um, hooded nib, this homage to the Parker 51. It looks like a Parker 51, but the ending of the barrel is in this form. It seems to have an aerometric feeding mechanism, but it likes the pushing rod here. And this is uh, quite, quite rudimentary, this uh, metallic rod. So. I'm not so sure that this is a Geha product or it could be a um, Franken pan made out of different parts from different producers. Indeed, on the barrel, we have no mention of the producer, only on this cap. 
and suggesting by the design this cap is from the 1970s the mid 1970s it has also an identification i love when they have this identification because it's part of their history this time we have an industrial uh, fabric and i think uh, it's not longer with us but i will leave uh, you a picture from google because i've uh, identified this uh, manufacturer maybe they used this type of fountain pens from geha on their offices or maybe they were gifted to the clients of this particular company well i told you that geha was directly competing with pelican on the segment of school fountain pens and to show you this i will show you the trend of the company in uh, 1972 till 1975 where they launched this incredible product they realized that the jeans were quite appealing to the young generation and they made a special fountain pen uh, which um, had this interesting interesting clip and you can see it ends in this button which is specific to the jeans and it has this color of the jeans it had also the texture of the jeans but it faded away in time there were like red lines that were uh, giving us the thought that we have indeed a special special material you can see geha made in germany on the cap and we have this nib it's a simple steel nib quite quite a nice uh, looking nib we have the same feature with this uh, feed and we have a cartridge feeder so quite quite a practical fountain pen so this particular model is the 713 model and it was made between 1972 and 1975 I released some pictures of other products from that period that had also this uh, uh, theme of the jeans. So this was quite an appealing fountain pen from for the young generation. Moving on, uh, you must know that Geha also produced quite luxury fountain pens, and this is an example. This is the Geha 722 from 1975 quite quite a wonderful wonderful fountain pen this time equipped with a beautiful beautiful gold nib geha 14 carat 585 nib this is the so-called uh, gold wing and uh, they uh, heavily uh, marketed this uh, gold wing it is uh, quite quite a nice nice writer I'm not so sure guys, but I believe that this uh, special feed, if you push this uh, part here, it could hold an extra reserve of ink. I must do a little bit of research because I'm not familiar with this system. And the reason they did that was uh, also in the interest of students. The theory was this, you take notes with your fountain pen and you are in the middle of a lesson and uh, the ink is gone when you can activate this uh, little reservoir of ink and you can finish your um, lesson that is uh, taught to you by the teacher uh, of course you don't have time to put the ink uh, bottle and to uh, refill the fountain pen so this is a like an uh, emergency reserve of ink when you are uh, in a crisis of time guys this was my presentation of a wonderful wonderful german producer it is a shame that it is not longer with us but what can you say this is the free competition so uh, they uh, probably they um, annoyed <laughs> pelican with their um, competition on the student fountain pens so they bought uh, their competitors a wise decision 
and maybe a fact that Pelican is a Pelican and it delivers quite, quite, quite nice fountain pens. But it also is nice when you know that there is competition on the market because uh, in the end the consumer wins if uh, he buys so some uh, qualitative products at decent, decent prices. I hope you've enjoyed this small presentation. Indeed, this is a small collection of Geha, but uh, I felt that it needs a special episode like I did also on uh, Lamy. This is another fountain pen producer that uh, delivered not only student fountain pens, but quite, quite nice fountain pens equipped with gold nibs that uh, were quite, quite good. Thank you guys for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this small collection overview of the Geha German products. I want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are. Please subscribe to my channel to support my uh, YouTube activity. We will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye bye.